Hey, welcome back, everyone. All right, going to give a, a quick tutorial for anybody who wants a refresher in DB Math. Hopefully, everybody remembers this, but in case you just wanted to wanted to brush up, this is the point of this video, or maybe you're new to it. Um, it's important. I think it's important because uh, we use these units frequently, and it's kind of a confusing concept at first, but understanding that lends you credibility as a space maintainer operator that you actually know what you're talking about when you read it off a spectrum analyzer or uh, when you're putting together a PowerPoint slide or converting to, or uh, talking and conversing with some of the other agencies out there. So, all right, let's get to it. What is a DB? It stands for decibel. And the reason we use decibels is that it puts everything on a logarithmic scale. And so when you have things like RF signals that exist over a very wide range of quantities, it makes them easier to compare and visualize. And I'll go through a few examples to show you what I mean. It also takes uh, these big and small numbers, and instead of having to multiply and divide them, um, you can just add them together. It makes it makes it more manageable for the audience and it makes communicating about it a little easier. So I've got an example here to the right. You've got uh, you've got two sine waves. One of these is uh, kind of this orange. You can see it go over two two cycles, two periods. And then you've got a blue line in the middle. And if I didn't tell you that that's actually the same same sine wave, you you wouldn't be able to tell, right? Because I've plotted both of these on the same same scale, same x scale, same y scale. But the truth is, is that blue line is actually the exact same sine wave. I've just tampered down, I've damped the amplitude to be about a thousandth of what the original sine wave was. So it's about 0.1%. It's not about, it's exactly 0.1% same amplitude. But because we plotted on this linear scale, you can't, you can't see it. And therefore it's going to be, if you imagine now this is a spectrum analyzer, you you wouldn't see this this blue line quantity, but the truth is it's there, and it's in a it's there in enough of an amount that we care about it. So instead of saying that the amplitude of the blue wave relative to the orange one is 0.1 percent or one one thousandth or some confusing number with decimal places and zeros, we say instead it's minus three dB relative to the original. And then when you replot that on a, log a logarithmic scale, or if you were to plot that spectrum on a log logarithmic scale, it would it would show up and be easier to see and easier to discuss with somebody else. So let's can, let's think of something can we we can all wrap our heads around. So I went on and I grabbed this photo off of a JPL and it shows the relative sizes of all the planets and the sun. So I grabbed uh, the size of the Earth here and what they're comparing here are the the diameters, so the the width across the entire planet of every single planet relative to the sun. So for the Earth, it's about 108 times. Um, so if I took the planet Earth, which is right here under the pointer, and then I lined these up left to right, and I made a line across the sun, I'd have to do that 108 times um, to equal the full diameter of the sun. So then if we use that number, and then we convert that to volume, how much space is actually inside the Earth, or how much is actually inside the sun, you come up with this really, really big number of 1 in 1.3 millionth. Uh, so in other words, I could fit 1.3 million Earths inside the sun. I'm just cram them and squeeze them all in together. And that's a really big number, and I don't like saying it, and chances are somebody's going to make a typo and add a zero or forget a comma or whatever. So to make it more manageable, let's convert it to decibels. And the equation you use is 10 times logarithm base 10 to the x. So you can punch that into a calculator pretty easily. You can do it on your computer. Um, and I've taken one, I've divided it by 1,300,000, and then in decimal form that's 0. 0.0000077. So I take 10 times logarithmic, logarithm 10 of the number 0. 0.0000077, and it spits out minus 61.135 dB. So what I can say is that the Earth is minus 61 dB in relative volume to the sun. So a dB, when all you see is the letters dB, that's always talking about a relative quantity. It's just talking about something in relation to something else. And in this case, I'm talking about the volume of the Earth 
relative to the volume of the sun. Their volumes are in relation to one another, minus 61 dB different. But if you wanted to go back to linear numbers, you'd say, well, the sun is 1.3 million times bigger than, this, than the Earth. But we convert it to dB because 61 is a way easier number to communicate than 1.3 million. So that's the whole point of this is just to motivate why we use or what would be a scenario that we use. Um, the logarithmic scale when we use dBs, it's just to compare things that are just of drastically different sizes. And that's what shows up in RF signals pretty frequently. Okay, so that last example was comparing relative sizes of things or just relative scale. And now I'm going to work, oops, sorry, I'm going to go to something more specific so that you can also use dBs to talk about a specific thing. So I got a picture here of a busy day at, uh, I think that's out at uh, Fort Polk. And we're going to count how many paratroopers are about to jump today. And that's a joke because some of these planes are going to break and we don't know how many paratroopers are going to jump. So, all right, how many paratroopers are on the ramp? So let's say we count, yeah, we go around and we count all the helmets out there. And we get 480 people are standing out there in the picture. And so instead of, instead of passing the number 480, I want to convert this to decibels. So I'm going to invent a unit called DBP, or decibel paratrooper. Same equation applies, 10 times logarithm 10 of the x of x, 10 times log 10 of 480. I spit this into a calculator and it spits out 26.8 dBp. This is a totally made up unit, but there's nothing that says you can't do it. So I've got 26.8 decibel paratroopers. I don't, it's expressing the exact same thing. All I've done is I've taken the linear unit of 480 and I've converted to decimals and made it a logarithmic quantity. So in this case, 480 is not that big of a number. You and I could communicate about 480 pretty easily and I don't think any of us would get confused, right? This isn't really a big enough number that we need to do that, but I'm just doing this to show that you can take any quantity, be it people, Reese's peanut butter cups, uh, volts, watts, whatever, and you can convert it to a, a decibel unit. And in this case, there are three letters, right? So DBP and that third letter is going to tell you what that thing is. And, and something I want everyone to remember, big takeaway, is that the three letters tell you that we're talking about an actual thing on a logarithmic scale. So let's take that example forward, and suppose now twice as many paratroopers showed up, and we went from 480, and now we've got 960. So we said, all right, let's convert that to decibel paratroopers. Same equation. 10 times log 10 of 960 spits out, calculator spits out 29.8 dBp. And you'll note that this is 3 dB more than before. You say, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, dB is a relative, here dB is a relative uh, expression. So we could have taken, that way we could have gone about this and said, hey, you just doubled the amount of paratroopers on the ramp, right? And I recognize that this is twice as many as we had before. So I take the same equation, 10 times log 10 of 2 is plus 3 dB. So the whole point of this example is to tie together the difference between a dB something and just a dB as a relative uh, as a relative number. So we started off with 26.8 dB paratroopers. Now I have 29.8 dB paratroopers. I have total that many paratroopers, and that's 3 dB more than before. So the dBp is a thing. The dB by itself is relative. And any time you double a quantity, you have plus 3 dB. And that's one of those that you'll see you come up over and over and over. And I've thrown some more examples right here. If you double something, you have plus 3 dB. If you cut it in half, you have minus 3 dB. If you multiply by 10, it's plus 10. Uh, divided by 10 is minus 10. So I've taken multiplication and division, and I've turned it into addition and, and subtraction. So just remember that the dB is a, is a ratio. It's You're comparing one thing to another, and then if there's a third letter on it, like dB w, dB v, dB mu v, dB little m, dB r, right? Those are, those are all actual things. That's expressing a quantity of things. Uh, for the nerds in the audience who want to get mad at me, um, you'll see different quantities of power and, and energy. They're converted using 20 log 10, but I'm not going to go into that here because we don't need to. All right, so the takeaways here. Know what you're talking about when you read a spectrum analyzer. It gives you credibility. Uh, the logarithmic scale makes a big spread of numbers more manageable, so just remember that picture of the Earth compared to the, compared to the sun. Nobody wants to go around remembering 1.3 million. You'd rather just say plus 60 dB because that's an easier number to communicate. A dB is a relation. If there's three letters, the dBx is a thing. 
And when you do convert to dBs, these are added and subtracted together. Clear as mud? Good job. See ya.